if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake is beta so here i'll take this ab as a lake the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters this is h meters i'll draw a horizontal surface so here i'll take a cloud the angle of elevation of a cloud from this point is alpha so this i'll consider as c cloud so let the height of the cloud from the lake consider it as like capital h now angle of reflection angle of depression of its reflection so see if the cloud is from the lake at a height of h meters so its image because lake will act like a plane mirror its image also will be at a same distance it will be h so b d and this you can consider it as e okay cloud's image is at e now see we need to prove that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation from this point of observation the distance of this cloud we need to prove this i'll consider it as x x value is this i have to prove this so now to prove that so bd if ap is h bd also will be h now this cd will be this total is capital h this one so from capital h if i'll take out small h this will be like cd capital h minus small h now in triangle angle of depression c from so angle of depression is like beta because the angle between horizontal surface and the line of sight so this de de be is h this part is h this is small h so this de will be capital h plus small h now first take triangle p d c in p d c tan theta opposite by adjacent so this p d value i'll consider as y well. so tan alpha opposite is c d by p d so c d by p d like tan alpha is h minus h by y h minus h by y in the same way if we we'll take triangle p d e tan beta opposite is d e and adjacent is p d so tan beta equals d e value is capital h plus small h so capital h plus small h by p d value is y now see here tan alpha value i got tan beta value i got if we'll see the answer what we need to prove so from this i'll get an idea that i need to prove tan beta minus tan alpha so first i'll find tan beta minus tan alpha tan beta minus tan alpha so tan beta value is h plus h by y minus tan alpha is h minus h by y if we we'll take lcm here y h plus h minus h minus h h plus h minus h minus into minus plus small h by y capital h and small h will get cancelled tan beta minus tan alpha so tan beta minus tan alpha is h plus h 2h by y so if we we'll cross multiply y equals 2h by tan beta minus tan alpha if you'll see see almost you got the answer but you need to find x so this y you need to replace so y and x and you need sec alpha so as you need sec alpha so sec alpha is hypotenuse by adjacent so sec alpha 
hypotenuse is here x and adjacent is y so what is y from here y equals x by sec alpha so in place of y just substitute x by sec alpha x by sec alpha x by sec alpha equals 2 h by tan beta minus tan alpha therefore x equals gross multiply 2 h sec alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha so hence we got the answer